Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie here, and once again, we're revisiting the Wild Wild West with Red Dead Redemption 2 because you guys have been sending me this image here of a Red Dead Redemption 2 open beta, and you're wondering, is this legit or is this not legit? And we're going to be talking about that, but remember guys, I'm giving away a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 when it releases to enter this giveaway. All you have to do is hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on all things Red Dead Redemption 2. But yeah, back to this supposed open beta. You may have been seeing uh, this image here circulating around saying, hey, there's a Red Dead Redemption 2 open beta. Register to gain access to the open beta and play with thousands online. Sounds awesome, right? Well, this is coming from a Twitter account called Red Dead 2 Open Beta. And believe me, guys, it is unfortunately a scam. Be careful about this one. You guys have been wondering about a beta. Will we see a beta or not for Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, honestly, given the history from Rockstar and Take 2, no, we will not be seeing a beta for Red Dead Redemption 2 because they've never run a beta for any of their games, uh, Rockstar games more specifically, like GTA or anything like that so yeah be careful about this one for sure if you do see anything that says red dead redemption 2 open beta be very wary about it uh, you know you can hit me up of course on twitter and on facebook because i've actually run into this and i'm like what what is this is there a red dead redemption 2 open beta and you could tell it's fake by the way because the word beta uh is taken from the destiny 2 beta so that's a dead giveaway there uh, for sure, the text is not lining up at all with the Red Dead Redemption 2 logo. It's unfortunate. I would love to see a beta, of course, uh, because that means they could stabilize the servers. As you guys may remember with GTA Online, they did release that one after uh, the release of GTA 5 single player. And it was kind of a mess at first. It took like an entire month, maybe even two months for them to really fix and figure out GTA Online because the servers were just a wreck and overloaded because everyone was hopping on wanting to play and I'm hoping they can avoid this with Red Dead Redemption 2 but considering the world size and what we're going to be getting this time around uh, it would be absolutely huge and a massive undertaking to run such a beta I would be very surprised so don't hold your breath I know quite unfortunate that we wouldn't be getting a beta but I did want to warn you guys about this one for sure and answer the question if we would see a beta or not and the answer is very unlikely but now it's time to go over your top comments remember to leave a comment down below for a chance for it to end up in a future video and logan mead goes on to say as long as the story follows the same roots of the first game then i'll be happy except less cow herding because that was whack and a lot of you agreed with him on this one. Yeah, the first game had a superb story for sure. I really enjoyed the characters. I've said it all the time. Some of my favorite Rockstar characters ever created because they're so enjoyable to be around for sure. And about that cow herding, uh, you know, they could actually improve that for sure. You know, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie City Slickers, but that comes to mind. Uh, they portrayed it as being very dangerous, especially with flash flooding and losing cows. And you can even lose men to these flash floods. So that would be very cool to see, actually, is battling the weather and flash floods and being familiar with flooding and cannons and stuff like that. So that would actually be something I would love to see uh, with cow herding if that minigame did return. And the party dog says, how do you think the economy making money, spending money, how much money you can make per your average mission and how much things will cost will work in Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, uh, it'll probably be a lot like the previous game, but I do hope that ranching and stuff like that and renting property uh, makes uh, an appearance here in Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, much like they have expanded a lot of the economy with GTA 5, I would hope they would trickle that down into Red Dead Redemption 2 in some way, but... The cool thing here is they have an opportunity to go beyond money and really uh, look to trading with uh, Native Americans as an economy of its own where you aren't so dependent on actual money and coin and gold and stuff like that where the value is really in your loot and the weapons you collect and stuff like that, which would make looting a big part of Red Dead Redemption 2 even more so than ever before in any Rockstar game, and I really hope they tap into this mechanic 
for sure. But guys, thanks so much for watching and for all the awesome comments. Stay tuned here for more Red Dead Redemption 2, and I will see you guys soon in the Wild Wild West. I'll kill all of you.